Brooklyn Independent Television. Welcome to Neighborhood Beat, your passport to Brooklyn. Today we're visiting Brighton Beach, my beloved hometown. And we have lots of sights and sounds for you to, to see and enjoy. The first one's going to be the 36th annual Brighton Jubilee, an exciting multi-block festival. And then we're going to meet an activist. Her name is Baza Ruhi. And she's very, very strong in the Pakistan community. And then we're going to go back to Brighton Bazaar. And last but not least, we're going to visit Tatiana's restaurant and learn how to make chicken Kiev. Mm -mm -mm. So stay with me. Let's go. When I was a kid, my playground was Coney Island. And it still is today. You have the great cyclone. You have not Astroland, but you got Luna Park with all new rides. You have the screen zone for those of you who like that sort of thing. And you have the sideshow. You have lots to see out there. So I tell you, if you want to have fun, come on out to Coney Island. This is Brighton Neighborhood Association's offices. Uh, B&A has been here since 1977. We started because we didn't want to see our neighborhood go down the tubes like other neighborhoods were doing at that time, falling victim to neighborhood crime and poor housing stock. So we worked out of my apartment for a couple of years and finally Brighton Neighborhood Association was born. Point is we felt we could make a difference. So through Brighton Neighborhood Association we set out to do that. We visited buildings by buildings, getting people to get involved, um, fight back. And the first year of our, our existence in 1977, we decided we have to send a strong message out there that Brighton Beach is alive and well, despite what you're hearing. And we had the Jubilee. Why we called it the Jubilee is funny because we're thinking of cowboys and Indians, of course, didn't go that direction, but that's, we called it a Jubilee. The Jubilee in Russian means anniversary, so the Russians come to think of it as the anniversary of the Brighton Neighborhood Association. The first Jubilee was very small. But we have grown over the years, and now we can say tens of thousands come here in a given day to see what we have here. We will stay in Brighton Beach, and we will continue to fight to preserve this neighborhood, because this is the neighborhood of my childhood. And my roots go back to the 1900s, when my grandparents came to Brighton Beach to set down their roots. My mother, well, she walked on that boardwalk when she was a teenager, the same boardwalk that I walk on and my children walk on. And though she's gone, this is still Grandma's Brighton Beach, and it's my job and my commitment to keep it that way. On behalf of the Brighton Neighborhood Association, welcome to the 36th Annual Brighton Jubilee! behind me here, the Brooklyn Nets. Here representing the Brooklyn Nets, excited to be here, Brooklyn's excited, and we can't wait to open up very soon. We dance at each home game during oh, yeah. the quarter break. It's very exciting to have our own Brooklyn team at the Barclays Center, right? And you can call in for seasonal tickets. The tickets are on sale now. And next year we're going to bring a, somebody for me, like a tall, six foot, okay, okay. single, okay. Mark, tell us about the prices of the for tickets this new season. Well, the season tickets, they start at $35 a game. They're fulls, halves, and some partial plans. Now, the best part about the arena is that there's no bad seat in the house. What's the slogan you came up with that was so clever? Well, a couple of us came up with it. It's uh, boardwalk, not sidewalk. A uh, sidewalk is not a boardwalk. Boardwalk is made of true wood, so we're going to stay with the, the fight and continue on. We have within each of us the power to make a difference, and he's making a difference every day of his life here in Brighton Beach and Coney Island, and we appreciate that, Todd. Get the 
Yeah, what we try to do is keep our customers informed about programs and services so they be better informed to make informed decisions about buying energy, saving energy, and being safe. We partner with DC Comics, and this comic is Power of Green. It's geared to our children to inform them about energy saving tips as well as being safe. If you have a problem, don't hesitate to call him or him. They're there to help you. You know, in Yiddish, they would say, this is a bachaya, it means it's good. But in any language, it's so delicious. This is my buddy, Richie, here, and we're both enjoying a Slurpee. It's 7-Eleven, right here, right in Cheers. This is so me. I wonder if they have this in jumbo sizes. Okay. I keep on telling you when I get home, feeling tired and beat. I go up. Hi, Frankie. How's it going, Pat? It's always a pleasure to be here. This is some event, and uh, I'm just following the footsteps of this beautiful lady <laughs> and trying to do the following her legend and her legacy and trying to help my neighborhood and help other people, just like Pat Singer's been doing for years. Today, uh, what we're trying to uh, uh, let people realize that they have options. They can stay at home, which is the best way to be taken care of and spend most of their days, even their last days. So we're located here in Coney Island, and our main office is in Jamaica, Queens. This is the end of another great Brighton Jubilee, 36 years. As you can see, I'm ready to ride out into the sunset. Please join me next year. We come back for the 37th on Brighton Beach Avenue and Coney Island Avenue. I hope you had a good time. I hope you'll come and see us next year. Bye-bye. I want to entice you to come down to Brighton Beach on your own. I know that you know about our nightlife, and we have a great nightlife here. We've seen Tatiana, we have the National, and we have a lot, a lot of great restaurants here. But what we do have, which I personally like, is our giftware. And I'm standing here at the Art of Flowers, and they make great gifts. And around the corner, you know, we've got Hanukkah and Christmas and Thanksgiving coming up. Take a look at our shops down here. There's bargains galore. We all have the power to make a difference. And right now, we're going to meet somebody who is making a difference. Her name is Baza Rahi and she's working with her community to help the women of Pakistan to enhance their life and quality of life here in the United States. My name is Baza Ruhi and uh, I came in America in 1998. We established in 2005 American Council of Minority Women and 2009 we registered it. So me, my other volunteers and my friends we decided to open up a new organization and we have to work for actually for the women and raise the voice them up who cannot raise their voice themselves. The main reason was to open up this organization was the domestic violence. Bibijan is my business name and it's uh, Bibijan means a respectful lady. So a lot of uh, women think that I'm doing something for the community because of the Bibijan name. We are helping you know, in terms of um, not only um, not only you know like any any uh, domestic violence but we also you know like clothes for them we have a food pantry program for them and um, it, it's not just about Pakistani it's, it's from all the cultures. When we opened it up then I saw a lot of uh, people in New York they sleep hungry on the streets because uh, they cannot get social benefits so we started food pantry after that we established a women learning center with the help of uh, Manhattan School, the back to school program, the free uh, school supply for the needy kids, and a lot of seminars on um, different issues. Pakistani women have uh, playing a very important role in this community. Pakistani culture is male dominated. So we are uh, trying to put out the problems of the ladies which belong to Pakistan here and there. And uh, we are helping the ladies who have some pressure from their males so they are, we are 
ready to help them at every corner, at every stage and at every moment. You can see me uh, like this, like a strong woman in Pakistani community, in male dominated community. So it's all because of my mother. So my mother, she raised me up like this, like a man not like a girl and so that's why my personality was she made my personality very strong so that's why i was strong here and uh, i decided to do something for others my mother was a doctor she was a gynecologist we tried to help the women's a poor women over there and that idea was in my mind i suffered a lot in um, coney island avenue when i opened up my uh, organization and when especially in on my first chandrat bazaar first the mail said oh it will be not successful she is just running here there and it was successful in the first chandrat bazaar almost 7 to 8000 people showed up and after that the again the male dominated society on coney island avenue they did everything to stop me to dissolve my um, organization to dissolve my uh, event because i am a woman and Pakistani woman and Muslim woman. But thank God in America and the government and the mayor's office, my district office, my Seminole prison, they all support me. That's why I'm here. When I came here, and especially when I established my business in uh, Coney Island Avenue, and I saw there is a lot of problems, uh, not only in my community and other communities. A lot of women, they cannot raise their voice up because of the language barriers. So that's why I started my own uh, organization over here as American Council of Minority Women, not only for Pakistani women, it's for all of uh, the women. We are presenting award to Mrs. Fayaz, honor of Mina Jewelers. Uh, she complete more than 25 years in her business. So now we are going to present her award. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> her dress she's a better woman like me because I'm not covering my head she is wearing hijab full clothes she is a true Muslim woman and respecting her husband kids and the business look at this dress is a very nice dress and it's all of hand work and pure chiffon especially Pakistani dress there's a special stone work on it Pakistan and he's the owner of the restaurants. Actually, he has a lot of uh, restaurants in uh, one of this. A lot of food and always delicious. This is a, uh, we would call it a Pakali dish, but uh, in English, uh, spinach, you know. It's a spinach with white tomato. Mm -hmm. Chicken curry. Okay. This is good, this is good. Bread. We bring the plate for him to put the bread on. have to speak up you have to believe on God and believe on the government and the system so you should go out not just stay at home and got raped and got beaten up and all this you shouldn't face this you should raise your voice up so my message is not only for the women's my message is also for the men they should give courage confidence and respect to their daughters their sisters their wives and they should trust on them. So they will be the part of their uh, lives, of course, and the business, and they're gonna raise their family in the better way. You know, Brighton Beach is when I was a kid, you couldn't starve in Brighton Beach. There was the old delicatessen, remember Zymas? And there was Mrs. Storrs Panishes, produce stores in every corner. Well, the tradition lives on. We have today, with the Russian immigrants here, we have Russian restaurants, we have a nightclub, and I'm gonna take you to this beautiful, how would you call it, European superette, where you're gonna see a cultural wonder of food. My 
Ade is the manager of the Brighton Bazaar, and he's going to show us some of the food that is featured here. Yes. We take a stroll? Okay. Okay, let's cool. go. All right. This is shrimp salad. This mixed seafood salad, uh -huh. vegetable salad, vegetable salad. This is Georgian salad, chop herring, crab meat salad. This is also like George, Georgian salad. You have a variety of salads, as you say, and this is great to bring home at night. Right? You don't have to cook, it's ready for you. Well, yeah. Over here. I truthfully like rice, and I think you have. This is brown rice? No, this is uh, kasha. Kasha? I can really get fat here. Okay. Let's... This is for the summertime soup. Yeah. Cold soup. Borscht. Borscht. Akroshka. Yeah, the people like it, Russian um, people, American people like it uh, I, on the summertime I, I and they're too hot. My grandmother, she loved borscht. Yeah. This we make. Wait, is that salad Olivier? Is that salad? No, this is the. Soup also. Oh, this is soup. Okay. This is the cold soup. And let me tell you, there are people that come to this store, not just from Brighton Beach, but they come from all over just to bring this home. Yeah, we have a customer come from Long Island, the Island, uh, Queens. We okay. have samsa, we have the uh, kapuste, blinchiki. I'm putting on a million calories just looking at this stuff. So you can come here for lunch, for dinner. You can have here just in drool. I mean, <laughs> so much to see here. It just, it's a fascinating place. It's a, a cultural adventure. Okay. You can't just live on chicken and meat. So we have fish, which is very healthy for you. So what, what is this now? This is turba. Tuba. Turba. Okay. In Russian, this is palpus. This? this is kambala. You won't find this in your Tilapi, neighborhood stores. Salmon, sturgeon. Okay. Delicatessen. This is the hidden Normal. secrets here. Delicatessen right here. Ah. You smell that, folks? <sighs> Here's the cheeses. Ah. <sighs> I think old-fashioned delicatessen, pickles, it's wonderful. It's, ah, delicatessen, right here, secret, okay. <laughs> but come on, let's move on, we've got cheeses. English and we, uh, plus Russian. Right. The signs are in Russian, but the labels are in English, so you know what you're buying. Moscovisky, Russian style, semi-soft cheese. Now, what is this cheese? Any idea? The Madeo cheese. The Madeo cheese. Madeo? It's uh, ostrich. Mm. Jealous, aren't you? Mm -hmm. It's over a uh, hundred uh, kind of different well, cheese. I've had a lot of Americans come to me and tell me they come here for the cheeses, that you have a great variety, you do. Yeah, we have very, very good assortment for the cheese. It's over uh, a hundred uh, kind of a different well, cheese. I'm sorry viewers, but I'm enjoying myself. You put, you put the cheese in there, like that? In yeah. There? Okay. Put the cheese inside. Okay. Spasiba. Right. Oh, it's hot, the blinces. Mmm. Mmm. I'm in heaven. So this is all of the fish over here. Okay. Everything fish. Wow. And fresh looking. It looks, you know, delicious. I guess have everything. White fish and herring. <laughs> He's still my heart. The dessert counter. <laughs> oh, that looks. It looks all wonderful. Yeah, candies. Let me tell you, Thanksgiving is coming. Not just the Jewish holidays. Thanksgiving. Think of this place. This is really, it's a, it's a paradise. <laughs> this is wonderful. So remember, the holidays are coming. Come by to the Brighton Bazaar. That day's right here. It's right near the subway. You can get the Q or the B. They're open at Brighton Beach Station. And you're right here in this 
heavenly cultural. Welcome to Bharatiya Bazaar. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank this you. This is a great visit. Thank you. We're here on the boardwalk in Brighton Beach at Brighton 6th Street, and we're right in front of Tatiana Restaurant. And boy, do I have a treat for you. We're going inside to meet the charismatic Tatiana Vaza, the chef of the restaurant, and she's going to teach us how to make chicken Kiev. Wow. Come on and join me. in one of my, well, the favorite place, place for me in Brighton Beach, and that's Tatiana Restaurant. And with me tonight is Tatiana Vasa, although I just said her. She really is known as Tatiana, like Cher, of Brighton Beach, and we love her. And we're sitting here in the Gold Room, which I said, I would imagine it's kind of like is like a castle in England. So talk to me. You opened this restaurant when? 19... 90. 1990. Wow. Now, beside the gold room, I want you to know this, there's a lot of rooms here. <laughs> this is a fun place. You have a fireplace room. Yes. Which is very important if you want to come out here in the winter. You're right here on the water. So, you are the chef. Yes. You've been the chef for 15 years. You can make American yes. or you can make Russian style. Yes. Because Russian style is very popular here, of course. So, tell me some of the dishes you're making the Russian style. Chicken Kiev. Of course, it's a borscht. I start create my own dishes. I mean, a little bit of this, a little bit of, you know, whatever, whatever I see. We're here at Tatiana Restaurant on the boardwalk in Brighton Beach in Tatiana's favorite place for kitchen. What are we gonna make tonight, Tatiana? Chicken cake. Okay, first we have a chicken, a flour, pepper and salt, and breadcrumbs, and of course a lot of vodka. Oh, my cholesterol loves you already. People out there, you're hearing noise, but this is a working kitchen, and that's an air conditioning motor, so forgive us, continue. Okay, so you cut. You make it look so easy. Just and just beat it. <laughs> now we're talking. Okay, now we have beaten chicken breast. You're gonna eat it afterwards, so. The spicier, the better. Now, you're gonna cut the butter and roll it over and make it with my hands like this. Right, exercise. Right, not, not too much. Yeah. Okay, now we, we have oval, huge egg. Butter has to stay inside. You see the bone, you have to press it like this. Wow. Then you take this piece of chicken, so butter is not gonna come out when you're gonna deep fry it. Then you take... And you're molding it over. Oh my goodness. Is this not something well? Okay. Now, we have to take the egg and flour. Now, you put it again. In the egg? In the egg. Oh, okay. Now, we have to put in the breadcrumbs. Uh -huh. Take it in your hands. Right. And again, the bone is inside. It's a repetition, okay. yeah. Okay. okay. Now, shape it in here, like oh. I show you. You see how beautiful? You that see what is. you did? So what are you going to do with my little baby here now? We're going to deep fry it for about 18 minutes. What we're going to do first, take potato, it's pan fried, my favorite, homemade. It smells delicious. A little bit of garlic and a little bit of dill. Wonderful. Yeah. We're going to do magic. Ladies and gentlemen, the show is about to begin. Tell me about the nightclub. You'll see a new show. It's a little bit of uh, Cirque du Soleil, a little bit of Russian dancing and they singing. Come the ceiling, they come up the floor, from the go. floor, yeah, all over the place. <laughs> it's a show that you would see in Vegas. And it's right here in our backyard. So I always find this amazing, what's, what's happening right here. And our boardwalk, too. That's right. We are in the boardwalk. Now uh, we're gonna make my favorite, my own, my signature salad, which is called Tatiana salad. This is the daikon radish, 
which we're gonna cut. You can use chicken, pork, or beef. This is fried onion, very crisp. A little bit of mayo, salt and pepper. It's very easy to make. So we're gonna put everything in a bowl. Grilled chicken. And I'm gonna cut a little bit of onion to put it inside for the taste. Now we're gonna salt it a little bit and pepper, I love pepper. If you see it, it's one tablespoon of mayonnaise. Now we start mixing. And we put it like that. So it's gonna give us nice presentation. The rest of the onion, put it on the top of our salad. And this is signature Tatiana salad. Bon appetit. This yeah. is so good. I like the idea of the onions. Onions, yeah, the Christmas. smoky, smoky flavor also. Mm. Does that look gorgeous? You see here, I added some sauce because oh. it's a chicken and it goes with sweet and sour, very good. That looks yummy. Delicious. So you gotta come out. It's on the boardwalk at Brighton 6th Street. She's got a website. TatianaRestaurant.com And she's so wonderful, and thank you. Thank you, Pat. Well, this is the time of the show when I have to say goodbye. But I wanna make sure that you catch the show. So please tune in to YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, the key word being BK Independent TV. And please also go to the Brighton Beach Facebook and go to our website, which is brightonbeach.com. Now the channel on cable vision will be 69 and on Time Warner, it's 56. Of course, you can always call the Brighton Neighborhood Association. I'll give you all the information. Thank you for joining us. As you can see, my horse is back in the barn, so I'll be slipping back on the boardwalk. Thank you again for joining us. I look forward to seeing you next year. Bye-bye. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.